two weeks ago, I ran a marathon and my legs are kind of tired from that still. So I was super happy that I was the lucky one to review the New Balance Fresh Foam More Trail version three. That monster truck of a trail shoe. And normally we're in the studio saying what we like and what we don't like about the shoe. But today I'm in the forest and I want to show you what it can do and what it can't. Quickly, what's new about this shoe? It is really thick looking and a lot of that foam is actually going up on the sides of the shoe, cradling it. So there is still foam, it's not as much as you might think. Now, if you look at the midsole, there's two densities. You have a softer layer on top and a firmer layer to keep a little bit more of a stable platform on the bottom. Perfect for trails. The Fresh Foam More V4, which this has taken a lot of inspiration from, is softer. This one is a little tiny bit firmer, just to make it a better trail running shoe. Now, if you look at the studs underneath, there's a Vibram sole here. You have some micro grip on the sides as well to keep that grip perfect at all conditions. This is a really nice and grippy outsole. I really love it. Now, when it comes to the upper, it's nice, breathable. You have that really fancy toe protection on the outside here, which is kind of an overlay and a nice breathable upper, but it is a little bit of a special fit. It fits a little bit like a, a box. It's easy to tighten in in the middle, but the heel is a little bit wider and the forefoot is a little bit wider, which makes it a really comfortable and lovely shoe to run long in. It doesn't slip at all in the heel. It's just not hugging it like really tightly in the ankle, but that makes it a little bit less promising on some technical trails that I'm gonna show you later. Let's just go for a run, huh? Now it might be obvious, but these type of trails is what the Moore Trail V3 is made for. Now it can do that twisty turny kind of stuff as well, but if you run on mostly these type of trails, then you're gonna love having the Moore Trail V3 as your comfy and cushioned trail buddy. Yeah, if you're running on these types of trails where there's a lot of back and forth and you just keep the momentum and you have a really nice flow, then the more trail V3 will be perfect for those as well. Now, as a rule of thumb, if you end up at a trail where you have to stop and adjust and like going from full pace to slow pace, full pace, then it gets a little bit more technical. Maybe there's some roots or stones as well, then the more trail will be a little bit more struggling than on these types of trails. Here, it's just fun. Okay, so it's kind of dry here in Denmark right now, so it's kind of hard to show how this shoe would be in muddy conditions. Now this place, if it was raining, it would be super muddy and the more trail v3 would be really great at that it has five millimeter lugs and it sticks to close to anything it's really really good there but this place actually shows something different as well it shows dried up mud that's kind of hard and this is where again the more trail v3 gets a little bit more shaky because it's has a wide platform but it doesn't have a really great hold on your foot Now this, oh, let me just stop. This is a place where this shoe kind of is a little bit struggling, eh, to be honest. It's just too wide and too comfortable and maybe too clunky for this type of scenario. Here, I would like a little bit more of an imbal shoe, a shoe that fits a little bit tighter around your feet. But the grip huh, is pretty amazing. Whether it's dry like today, or if it's wet. So just stay away from these types of places. Ah. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. 
<laughs> this it's probably not the terrain you want the more trail v3 in now the previous place i went was really extreme because it was super steep and it's hard to run fast but this place you can run really fast and here you need a lot of brake power which this shoe has it just doesn't have the fit to keep your foot in place so I would probably not choose the more Trail V3 if I only run in this type of scenario. Now, this is the beauty of trail running. Trail running is so diverse that if your shoe is good at one thing, it's probably not as good at the complete opposite. And this is good at comfort, fast, low runs, and long runs. But that fast, steep, and technical route or stony trail is a different question. Now, it's really important to explain that the shoe is actually really good. And if I point out the faults, it's just because I want to guide you as a consumer to buy the right shoe. Now, if you run a lot of technical trail, then maybe get another shoe. But if you want a shoe that's perfect for mixed terrain, perfect for flowy trails, gravel roads, even asphalt roads, the more trail version three will not disappoint. It's a fantastic trail shoe that's super comfortable and then as well, super fun. And you can of course buy it on runningexpert.com.